Welcome to Macro Golf, get golfers moving. If you're new here, welcome. And in these videos, we're all about moving you from the desk, from a seated position, taking you through some movements, waking up your body, waking up your mind, and getting you on the right path to playing pain-free, and most importantly, the best golf of your life. So all we need here is 10 minutes of your time, somewhere comfortable to lay or sit down, and one golf club. That's all we're gonna need, and we're gonna take you through 10 minutes of movement to wake up your body and your mind to help you on your journey. Now, as always, we're gonna start on our whack backs and then we're gonna work through some breathing routines, take us onto our knees, and then finally end this position where I believe we spend most of our day, which is in a standing position. Let's come down onto our backs. And the first thing we do is just loosen off your hips a little bit with a little bit of breathing work. So if we're sat down a lot and we're sat at our desk a lot, um, maybe we're working from home or maybe we're spending a lot of time watching TV, hips are gonna become really tight. So let's just do a little bit of work to free those up. So what we're gonna do is gonna take your left foot and cross it over your right knee. So I've got left kind of ankle on the outside over this right knee. And I'm just thinking about pushing this left knee away from me. And as I feel like I'm pushing that left knee away, I can really start to take my breath and breathe into this left hip. And as I exhale, I feel like I'm just releasing a little bit of that tension off. I feel like I can just push this left side away from me a little bit further. If you want to open up your hands, make sure you're keeping both shoulder blades flat on the floor, that's great. But really importantly here, we're just thinking about breathing into this left side. Good work. And then all we're going to do is to keep the legs in the same position, but just take this whole thing over to the right hand side. So what we'll do is just drop both legs over to the right, but keep them in the same position. And then I'm just going to make sure I've got my left shoulder blade flat on the mat. And I'm just thinking again about pushing that left knee out and away from me. And as I do that, I will just feel that stretch move to the outside of my left thigh. And now I'm breathing into the left side of that thigh. <sighs> Every exhale releases a little bit of that tension and just removes a little bit of the damage that we've done from being sat down for what is seeming to be most of our day. Most of our days have been allowed to be in a seated position because it just makes our lives easier. But we ended up with a little bit of back pain, a little bit of hip pain, struggling to move and struggling to play the best goal of our life. So that's the plan here, is to free up what your body is meant to be able to do. Great work to bring this back to the middle. Let's now move to the other side. Let's do right foot over left thigh. And now again, I think just think about moving this right thigh or right knee away from me. And as I do that, I feel a stretch coming to my right hip. Keep him breathing, now I'm thinking about breathing into this right side. So breathing into this right hip. Good work. And then just gonna take this whole system over to the left now. So just shift everything over to the left. And now I'm thinking about just pushing this right knee out and away from me. And I feel that stretch come further down the leg, more into the outside of the right thigh. Still breathing nice and deep from the belly. Breathing is really important because as we're slouched, as we're sat down, as we're working over our desk, we tend to breathe in from our chest and uh, can increase our anxiety, increase our stress levels, and we don't take as much of a deep breath. So just taking five, 10 minutes to breathe deeply from the correct position can be enough to free you up, release some tension, release fatigue, release any tension headaches. Basically just make you feel better. That's what we're trying to do here, make you feel better. Good work. Let's come back to the middle here. What I'm going to do is spin us round and come up onto our knees. Uh, and hopefully it's in reach because now we're going to need your golf club. So grab your golf club. All we're going to do is grab one hand down the end of the head and one hand up the, up the grip. And all we're going to do from here is just start to work a little bit on freeing up our shoulders. So what I'm going to get you to do is from a seated position, if you're comfortable in this position that I am, that's great. If not, you can come up here or you can tuck your toes in, whatever's comfortable for you, okay? Now from here, all we're going to do is with the, with the club resting on our thighs or down towards our hips if we're up higher, we're just going to take an overhand grip. So I've got both palms facing down. I'm just thinking about lifting this club up ahead of me and then lifting it up and above my head. And then as I do that, I can just widen my grip and this is going to be a nice position for us to start in. And all we're going to do is take the club down now behind our head, touch onto the back of our shoulders, and press up and above our head. So we're trying not to lift our uh, neck too far forward, try and keep nice and upright, try not to go into banana back, try and keep everything straight, and just touch this club down 
behind our backs. If this is too much of a challenge for you and you don't have the mobility to get into this position, just come down onto your chest for now, okay? But I really want us to be able to work in to get this down and behind our backs. It's a really kind of fundamental position for us to be able to get into. And what's really important here with our shoulders is we see that if we don't have enough shoulder mobility to get into what is known as external rotation this way, then we can actually str struggle to shallow the golf club as well. It's a really important position for us to for our shoulders to be able to get into, and hopefully just by going through this movement, we can free up a little bit of that tension for you. So just a few more of these pressing up and above the head. Good work. One more here. Good, and your legs are probably screaming at you now, so let's get you into a standing position. Just come up. And from standing, all I'm gonna get you to do then is just bend over from the hip. So from a standing position, we bend from the hip, and I really want us to try and get a nice straight line between our head and our tailbone. And once we've found that position, have the club out uh, kind of hanging ahead of you, which is gonna be around kind of like chest level, nipple level. Now with the club hanging, again, we've got the same position, one hand down the head of the club, one hand on the grip. And from here, all we're gonna do is pull this club into our chest. But as we do this, I really want us to pull our shoulder blades back and together and open up from the chest. So we're trying to pull it in, open up, squeeze, 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 and release back down. And almost you can create a little bit of tension in this club as well, almost like you're trying to bend the club slightly. Don't break your club, you're gonna need it later. But just bend this into the chest. Good work, just keep an eye on your breathing. A few more here. Great work. Even just starting this video today and getting this session done, you're already a step in the right direction for improving your golf, and trying to play pain free. Great work. Nice, and just stay from this start position now. I'm just gonna loosen off a little bit because I know we're gonna get a little bit tight across the lower half if you're not used to this. So from here, all I want you to now do is just raise this club out ahead of you and back down. Don't create too much tension here. Just raise it up ahead of you. Back down, a few more here. Raise up, back down. Last one here, guys. Raise up and back down. Great work, club can go to the side. And all we're gonna do now is just work a little bit into the shoulders. So just roll the shoulders all the way up and back down. Just try and release a little bit of this tension off the neck as well. Just pull the shoulder blades all the way up together, round and back. This should feel great. Shoulders will come all the way up, back, round and together and last one here up round and together and just like that guys you are ready to go and attack what is going to whatever looks like the rest of the day for you whether it's golf whether it's more work or whether it's a round of golf or practice you guys can be ready to go and attack that after this little bit of movement for more but for your body and your mind fantastic work well done for finding 10 minutes to dedicate to yourself you fully deserve the results you're going to get today see you guys on the next video